Okay, so this is where you get the news that Emily's been in a car accident. Uh, you'll take your phone out, go through all this dialogue here. Put a nice pause after each line so we know there's somebody on the other end. Um, take your time, get into it, but don't overdo it. Alright. The Rose Bushes of Manchester, scene 33, take one. Action. Hello? What? A car accident? Is she dead? No? Where is she? St. Mary's Hospital? I'll be right there. And cut. That was perfect. Let's move on to the next shot. Can we do that one again? I think I talked a little fast. Oh, nonsense. You were great. You know, Nick... What? Forget it. No, tell me. What? You've become kind of a douche lately. How so? It kind of seems like you're more into being a director than actually making a good movie. Really? Yeah. You didn't used to yell action and cut and sit in a director's chair. Sorry for evolving as an artist. And this new script is terrible. The first two were comedies and now we're making a heavy drama. Don't you want to ease into it a little bit? Ease into it. Dan, did Orson Welles ease into it when he made Citizen Kane? Did Martin Luther King ease into it when he lived the march on Washington? Did God himself ease into it when he created the concept of human misery? No, he didn't. Well, Dan, if you don't want to do the script, maybe I'll just get somebody who does. Carol, get me Forrest Whitaker, please. Fine, fine. I'll do the script as written. Let's just move on. Excellent. Next is the scene where you call your stepfather and confront him about your childhood. The Rose Bushes of Manchester, scene 12, take one. Action. Hello, Alan. It's your stepson, Matt. I'm calling to confront you about my childhood. You abuse me, and I'm haunted by it. But you know what they say. It's never too late for the rose bushes of Manchester. Nick, you've done it again. Cut. This movie's gonna be the biggest piece of shit.